Hi, this is Bastian de Koning from Jiffy Course Online. And I'd like to welcome you in this video. And I want to talk with you about the batch functionality in the Gamified Lite template. At this moment, everybody with a Kajabi account has access to the new templates. And these are the Gamified Lite template and the wonderful template Penny Claim has made. And these templates are here in your app, but there are not really announced, so maybe some people didn't know about it and now they found something, there's a new feature and how can you use it? And i like to help you in this video with the Gamify Lite badges. Before we dive deep in how to use the badges and what you can do with it, let's first talk about where can you find them. Well, they are in your Kajabi app already, so please go to your account, go to your dashboard, go to products, go to all products and visit your courses. The batch templates are a template for your courses. So when you are at your courses, click on your course and you can customize your template. And you probably know that you could customize your template. You've done that before, but you can also install a new template. And when you press install templates, a window will pop up with seven different styles you can install. Well, the first is Momentum and the second is Premiere. And most templates start with the Premiere template and these are the native Kajabi templates. The Momentum template was already there and it has a sidebar on the left side and you can use it to have yeah, more navigation options for your students. Well, we used these two templates to create the Gamify Lite templates. So you have the Lite template on the right and this is the same as the Premiere. So if you know how to work with Premiere, you can also work with this light version. And you have the Gamify Light with Sidebar, it's the same as the Momentum. If you like to use with Momentum, you can install this one. On the left, you find the Sunset template, and this is what Penny created. And this is really a wonderful template if you love to work with block style formatted products. Then you have Creative and Prosper, and these two are two old Kajabi templates based on the Premiere. Now let's select a template. Just go to the Gamify Lite or any template you like. Remember not to press on preview template. It will pop up a new window and you can preview how it looks like, that's fine. Just select the template, scroll down and press install template. This template will be installed as a new template on your, on your current course. So your current template will still exist and you will find it here on top of it, but Below you see install templates, you need to open this preview and there you find on the left top side your newly installed template. You can select customize and now you're ins inside the template with the badges on the right side. I don't want to explain how you can customize your template, you can do it. There are a lot of videos Kajabi created to use these templates. You can really redesign it to your style. I like to talk about the batches, the new feature. And you find them on the right side, you find six batches already installed. You can add as many batches as you like. There are six steps to use these batches. And I will explain all six steps. They're pretty small, but with these steps, you can do them one by one by one. The first step is, okay, now we have a batch. We want to reward our students with uh, something they have done, something they've done inside Kajabi. What is the thing that you want to reward? And this can be anything. And now, please use your imagination. It can be a lesson they have finished, but that's just a start. It can be anything they do in Kajabi. It can be anything that triggers an automation. Think of a quiz they've made, an assessment, and if they've passed the assessment, then you can trigger an automation. It can be an opt-in form they filled in somewhere, and you can grant them also with this automation in this opt-in form. It can be another purchase they've made somewhere on your website. It can be an email sequence they have finished. All these actions can trigger an automation. And when you can trigger an automation, you can grant them a batch for it. So this is just a start. Let's see, okay, keep it simple. We want to grant a batch for a lesson they have finished. Okay, that's step one. Step two is to create a batch. 
in your template you will find already six badges. You click on them, can click on them, and then on the left side, a new pane will open where you can add two badges. You can add a badge when they have not, where they do not own this badge, when they need to earn it, and you can add a badge when they are rewarded. You can use the six badges there that are already here in the template, but you can also create your own badges and just think of a square badge you can use something like 400 by 400 pics, make it a PNG file with a transparent background. You must create two batches, one for the preview and one for the reward. And both new batches, you can just upload them to your template and you can change all the batches as you like. Then add some text to it. When they don't have the batch, they like to know how can I earn this batch? And you can add here some text. So you can do this, just do this action, visit this site and opt in for this form, something like that. You can write it down here, but after they are rewarded, you want to say something, oh great, you own this badge, you did it, well, you're wonderful, you're such a kind, you're a superhero, something like that. You can add this text and these texts will pop up on the badge when they hoover over them. On top of the screen, you see the test owner badge option. And this is just a test option for you to use. Your students won't see this option. When you switch it off, this is what your students will see when they are uh, just in your program and don't own the badge. And when you switch the test option on, you will see the badge as they will see it after they are rewarded. On top of the screen, you will find select offer to trigger the badge. And this is the option we need to trigger the badge somewhere in Kajabi. And for this, we need two steps inside Kajabi, somewhere else, not in this template. And what we need is an offer or a ghost offer. And what we need is an automation somewhere. After we have created those, we can come back in this template and select the right offer. Most people use the offers just to use the checkout and make sure that people get access to your products but offers are so much more and you can use them for many more things. And to add a new offer for a badge, let's go to sales and you'll find the offer page and you select new offer. Give a title to your offer, something like badge my course starter. Products leave it empty, select continue, price select free, save and finish. The offer is created here. This is, your, this is your offer page and you can leave everything empty. You don't need anything in this offer. This is called a ghost offer. There's nothing in it. It will do absolutely nothing. It's just there as a ghost offer. When you're finished, press save. This is the step, create the offer. Now we need to add an automation somewhere. And Everywhere in Kajabi where you can add an automation, you can grant this offer. So let's go back to the, our products and let's grant them an offer. Let's grant them a badge, reward the badge after if they have finished the first lesson. So we're back to our product. I'll select the first lesson and on the bottom of this lesson, you can see automations and when this lesson is complete completed grant an offer and it's an old batch i had but i can add another automation add automation when this lesson is completed then grant an offer and here you select my course batch my course started this is the batch we just created you can send them an offer you grant email i would suggest don't do it just switch it off and press save we have the offer, we have the automation. Let's get back to our template. Inside our template on the left side, top side, select the badge you like to have. Go to select offer to trigger this badge. And the offer was my course, badge, my course starter badge. Okay, there's a typo. It's there, press save, you're finished. This is all, you can do this for all the badges you want. If you go back to the sidebar and let's just go back to the section settings, you will find here the gamify batches option. And here you will see the six batches that are on the right side already. You can add more batches if you like. You'll see there's a demo batch uh, on the bottom of it. And you can 
change the colors, change the title, collect all your badges, you can change this. You can filter the text or add text as you like. You can change the label color, you can change the background, do anything you like just to customize it completely to your style. There are just a few more words I'd like to say before we end this video. The first thing is how can you test that everything is working? When you press the preview of your template, you will see that all batches are grayed out because as an admin you can't uh, get granted offers. So you need to test it as a student and for this create yourself or add yourself as a member to your own course in a different browser log in on your own website as a member go to your course and just do your course see how your course works this is always a great idea and you will see that the batches will be triggered based on the actions you do in your course there are two more things you can use to gamify your template even more when you select one of the batches doesn't matter what which one you will see on top of it uh, the, the sidebar hide batch when not owned and when you press this option the batch will disappear from the panel so when I press save and I want to go back to the preview refresh the page you see there's one missing now the other one is here so what's the use of this you can use this hidden batch as an Easter egg you can grant people with another yeah batch where you can reward them with some action they didn't expect they would be rewarded with for example when they have visited your event you can add them a, a new batch it's called event visitor and it is only it will only be shown to the people who own this batch but when they when they couldn't get to your event they weren't there it's no use to have a, a grayed out batch there because yeah, they weren't there, they can't earn it anymore, the event is in the past. But for the people who were there, you can give them extra batches that are only visible to them. That's the hide batch when not owned option. It's really useful to use it as an Easter egg and grant extra rewards for the people who do more things than expected. And another thing I like to say is when you go back to your offers, we talked about the ghost offer. At the bottom of this offer you can add an automation and here you can when the offer is granted make sure you select when the offer is granted because you grant an offer somewhere else it's not purchased then send an email okay straightforward but here in this email you can say hey you did wonderful you earned this batch and you can add the batch also to your email and they already see the batch in their email. Oh, I have earned this one. And you can add the link back to your course and they will get back to your course and they will see the new batch in the course. So there are many options to motivate your students. And I hope this video will help you to motivate you to be creative with the possibilities that are now available with this uh, new Gamify Lite templates. If you have any questions, just ask me, send me an email, send me a DM. I'm Bastian de Koning from Jiffy Course Online. I hope you like this video and I hope that you will motivate your students with new options. And if you have created your own badges, I love to see what you have done. Please send me a screenshot of your course. We've seen some marvelous things people did with our template and with the batch options. And if you can send us a screenshot, please. This is Bastian de Koning. I hope to see you again.